Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to check the lithium ion cell or 18650, how to check its capacity, basically this one being step two in our process to make the power pack. Alright, so let's get started. Alright friends, as I told you, I'm, we're gonna, I'm, sure, I'm gonna show you a process today how to use this uh, IMAX B6 charger to check the capacity of a lithium ion cell. And you should never trust what they say on the on the label here you know 3900 4500 and so on yeah after we're gonna manage to do the test then you can conclude what's the capacity in medium hours of your battery all right okay so we're gonna take our um, mx b6 charger we're gonna plug it in straight away okay on this end you're gonna need to plug in the connector you know pretty self-explanatory minus to minus and plus to plus this one plugs in like so we're gonna need a battery holder and as well we're gonna put our 18650 like so this one is the plus and this one is the minus. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go into inside the uh, IMAX P6. We're gonna press start or enter. Go type. Let's see. We'll press stop once. We're gonna have here LiPo battery. We're gonna press enter. Then we're gonna move our arrows, balance, fast charging, storage, discharge. And now you're gonna leave it as it is, one amp and three volts. So it's gonna discharge till it's gonna reach three volts. And then we're gonna connect our battery. Wait all the plus, minus. So the battery is connected. And we're going to press and hold start. I'm going to check it. All right. And now it's starting to, to do his own thing. All right. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you the results in a couple of seconds. All right. So we're starting to increase the time here and increasing the milliamp capacity over here. If you want to see the, the first video of this series, check out this link here, how to charge the lithium ion cell in a proper way, with constant current and constant voltage. Alright, thank you. All right, friends, so the discharging process is, is done. As you can see in the image here, it took 37 minutes and 18 seconds to discharge this battery at one amp, and he accumulated 620 milliamps of charge in this battery. You know, so uh, we could go lower than this to 2.5, Let's say, but it's not recommended. And in a ideal scenario, you're gonna charge it till 4.1 and discharge it till three volts. And that's it, if you wanna have longer life with these ones. And as you can see on the battery here, here you go, is a code here, lithium ion and 1200 milliamps. So from 1200 to 620, it's a long way. All right, so the step two of our process to building a power wall or power pack is done. See you on the next time and thanks for watching.
take care and save money and be aware of the labels man don't trust the labels yeah see ya